Hi everyone. Today we'll be going through another trickiest question, which is for your imp improvement of mathematical skills. And let us go through the question. A sphere is inscribed in a cylinder. Inscribed in a cylinder whose height is the same as the sphere's diameter. So sphere's diameter and the height of the cylinder is same. Find the ratio of the surface area of the sphere to the lateral area of cylinder. So first of all, we need to understand what is inscribed sphere. So an inscribed sphere, I have explained over here separately and this diagram shows this is like a cylinder and there is a sphere inside the cylinder so what is inscribed circle in geometry the inscribed sphere of a convex polyhedron is a sphere that is contained within the polyhedron so in this case sphere is contained in the cylinder and sphere is inscribed and the other thing is that tangent to each of the polyhedron faces so it is tangent like sphere is touching to the uh, cylinder from all sides it is the largest sphere so it is the largest sphere that is contained wholly within the polyhedron. So this is the largest sphere which we can fit into this cylinder. And if you check the measurements, the diameter of the sphere is 2R, which is this one. Diameter of the sphere is the same as the diameter of the cylinder because it is fitting exactly. And height of the diameter, height of the sphere is also same as height of the cylinder. So 2R will be height of the cylinder also. So we can write the surface area of the sphere. So we will write surface area of sphere. is equal to we know surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r square so we can write 4 pi r square so this is surface area of sphere and we have to get the ratio between surface area of the sphere and lateral area of the cylinder so lateral area is is what 2 pi r lateral area lateral area of cylinder we can write is equal to 2 pi r into h 2 pi r into h 2 pi r is the circumference like for example this will be the circumference of the cylinder and h we will take the height this will be the height of the cylinder and when we cut this uh, sheet it's like hollow pipe if we cut the hollow pipe it will become a rectangle like this one and this will this side will be 2 pi r which is which was circle before cutting and this height will be h so the area like this one which is lateral area this will be equal to length into width so it will be 2 pi r into h so this is how we can understand that it is like a hollow pipe which is cut and after cutting um, we will get a rectangular sheet which will be having width of 2 pi r and height of h and this is how we got lateral area of cylinder which is 2 pi r h and we know h is h is equal to 2 
r in this case which is mentioned over here height is equal to 2r so we will replace in this so lateral lateral area lateral area of cylinder will become 2 pi r multiply by 2 r replace we have replaced the value of h which is 2 r over here and this will be resulting to 2 into 2 will be 4 4 pi r squared now we got the surface area of the sphere and we got the lateral surface area of the cylinder as well so this is uh, surface area of the sphere and this is lateral surface area of the cylinder now we we need to find the ratio so we can write ratio ratio between what ratio of surface area of sphere divided by lateral area of cylinder will be equal to this one 4 pi 4 pi r squared divided by 4 pi r squared and this one will be cancelled we can cancel this and this and this will be equal to 1 so ratio will be equal to 1 so again why we have taken uh, this one uh, sphere as exactly same height because it is fitting sphere is fitting into the uh, cylinder which we for better understanding you can understand like a pipe which is not having top and bottom so when you cut the pipe and you will get a sheet which is a rectangular sheet which is having one side as 2 pi r the other side is having h so to find the area of that sheet you can multiply 2 pi r by h and this is how we reach to the ratio and the ratio is 1 ratio between surface area of sphere and lateral uh, area of cylinder lateral area keep in mind lateral area is not including top and bottom so this there is no top like for example this top is not there and this bottom is also not there so we are not including top and bottom so excluding this top area which this one we have excluded so excluding top and bottom area it will be like a hollow pipe and after cutting that hollow pipe we will get the sheet and we have calculated that ratio hopefully you understood each and everything and don't forget to subscribe mass tv also press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos recommend this channel to your friends and class fellows also introduce this to your respective teachers thank you very much for for watching take care bye